All right, so now that you've created your maps for your material from Blender, I'm going to quickly show you how you can use those maps in Unity. So the first thing that you need to do is import your actual model. So take this from your files and just drop it into your uh, project folder. Next up, you're going to take those three maps that you created and also drag those in. Then you can take your model and drag it into your scene. Now it may be kind of big depending on however you scaled it in Unity. For now, we can just scale that down. Now you may notice that this has some color information already applied to it, but this is not the full texture that we had created uh, within Blender. And here's the material that it took from Blender but we're not going to use that material. So the next thing you want to do is come over to this folder, right click, say create, and then come down here to material and name it whatever your object is. So I'm going to say example object material. Now from here, you're going to take your albedo and drop it into your albedo slot. You're going to take your normal map drop it into the normal map slot and say fix now and then you're going to take the roughness and you're going to drop it into the metallic slot so as you can see this smoothness factor here is controlled by the metallic map so once you've made that you're going to take that material that you made and drag it and apply it to your object you may notice that it looks a little bit dark the main reason for that is that this setting right here is set all the way up. So in order to get it looking how you want, you want to just play around with this slider a little bit until it looks a little bit more accurate. So that looks similar to how it was in Blender. And you can see now that this object has the same material properties that we had all set up in Blender, but now it's ready to go in Unity. And you can always feel free to mess around with this a bit more. It's just going to make the object look more or less smooth depending on how high you have it on. So whatever you think looks most accurate to how the model looked in Blender, just uh, set that scale for that. And uh, that's about it. With those maps created, it really is pretty simple to get your object looking how you would expect um, based off of the material in uh, Blender. So thanks for watching.